It's Mike here, and a lot of people are suffering from lower back pain right now. You might be, and I guarantee that you have some uncle somewhere whose back is currently hurting. That is because lower back pain affects up to 84% of people at some point in their lives, and one quarter of the population suffers from chronic lower back pain. Most shockingly, it is the second leading cause of disability, disabling over one-tenth of the population. But we are almost entirely wrong about the root cause of this epidemic. It is commonly believed that it is caused by lifting, carrying, or sitting. Those are certainly triggers, but scientists are finding that these mechanical factors probably don't even have a major disease-causing role at all. The real cause is mind-boggling, that from an increasingly young age, our spinal arteries are clogging and slowly starving the discs in our lower back. In fact, one study that used advanced imaging found that 80% of people with chronic lower back pain have clogged spinal arteries. I'll repeat that for you, 80% of people with chronic lower back pain have clogged spinal arteries. On the left, healthy lower back arteries with healthy blood flow. On the right, the arteries of somebody with chronic lower back pain. Ouch! But how does this actually happen? Well, with our current dietary habits in the United States, from a very young age, our aorta, the largest artery in our body, begins clogging with fatty streaks of cholesterol. Over time, these build up, and by the age of 20, one in 10 people have advanced spinal artery blockages. See, our spinal discs are surrounded by arteries, but since they are largely avascular, or do not receive blood flow directly, they rely largely on nutrients to simply diffuse into them. So when our spinal arteries become clogged, our discs slowly starve and degenerate. And that has gotta hurt. And the result of this is, one in five people in their teens now show signs of lower spinal disc degeneration, and a study using autopsies determined that by age 49, 97% of lower discs now show grade two degradation or worse. In addition to just a lot of pain, this can lead to hernias in which your disc actually bulges or slides out of place. With our current dietary habits, all of this artery clogging, disc degeneration, and lower back pain get worse with age together. But it doesn't have to be that way. There is hope, and it lies in diet. There is one diet in particular, a cholesterol-free, whole food vegan diet, which has been scientifically proven to prevent the clogging of arteries, unclog arteries, and reverse heart disease. One study took nearly 200 people with advanced cardiovascular disease and put them on this diet. Of those that stuck with it, less than 1% had adverse events, which include a heart attack or stroke. While those who went off the wagon, 62% had such adverse events. This was largely due to the measurable unclogging of arteries that resulted from the cholesterol-free whole food vegan diet. And separately, Dr. Ornish's plant-based diet and exercise program was shown to measurably unclog arteries in 80% of patients over just one year. By contrast, a low-carb diet was shown to increase artery clogging by 40 to 50 percent. Finally, population studies show that vegans have not just normal, but ideal levels of LDL or bad cholesterol on average. All right, that's it for today. Share this video with people you know that have back pain to help them out, and links are in the description. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.